Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install or make my telemetry tool to work with the Asset the Corsa competition. If you, you might have noticed that there's a new 9.2 version, where the one of the biggest uh, new development was to adding the support for ACC. And, and here I'm going to show you how to do the installation, how to make the tool work with ACC. So as you can see, you have downloaded the latest zip file. I made a folder in uh, in the desktop, we could be this folder could reside anywhere. So I'm zipping all the files into that folder just so that we have we can do the testing and installing. So you can see it takes a little bit while. So now we have all the files in in this folder. It could be this could be anywhere. It could be just like under the C directory or wherever you you want to have your data. So first thing we need to now do is is to run uh, the tool for once. So we'll do this. Uh, with it, uh, with this 2 GB limited version, you could take any of those, but I'll talk about it a little bit later. So here we go to the first. We have to go to the settings. So you can see if you are new to this tool, there's a, you can open some files. There's some different views you can choose, and then the settings. So let's to go for the ACC settings. That's where we start. And as you can see, when we are running uh, the, the tool with ACC, we want to connect to ACC's broadcasting feature, which gives us a lot of data about the cars and, and, and uh, so we can have a live map and things like that uh, running. So things you have to change is the port. This doesn't have to change, but you can set it whatever you like. And there's a password. Business system uses passwords. So I'm using uh, some letters. You could do letters and it's anything you, you like here. Uh, I'm just taking this one zero off. So this is you can have uh, the password is to, for connecting the command password is actually being used, but I'm just saving it uh, for future usage. Um, if you're running ACC on a different computer than the telemetry tool, then you have to set here the ACC's uh, IP address or the computer where the ACC runs, so that my tool can connect to the broadcasting features of, of ACC. So, but here if you're running the same computer, just Make sure that these settings are there, how you can use the default settings. And then just press save and exit, and it saves the data. Actually, I'm looking here, you can see that the data has been uh, loaded, uh, changes changed in, in the file, in the config file, when you do the save and exit. Exit there. And then uh, it's a little bit slow on this way, but yeah. And then we have to also change the settings because the game was uh, defaulting to Formula One 2019, but we need to put in the ACC. So we put the ACC here. That's the only thing you have to change. And you just save and close. And now when we are changing the game, the tool wants to restart, but there's lots of things done in the background based on, on, the, on the game that you are starting with. So you can change the games in between. This just the way. It works at the moment. So then, okay, we restored, and now all the settings are ready. So what we need to do, we, as we, I'm also using the ACC, uh, the shared memory from ACC. So you have to run the relay, which actually sends, reads the data from the shared memory and sends it over the ODB. So you could also run my tool on different computer with all the data. As you can see, in the new installation, there's a different bat files which you could use to run uh, telemetry tools. These three, so one is with limited two gigabytes, one limited to four gigabytes. But I'm just taking this one, which doesn't have any limitations. It typically takes six to seven gigabytes if you have lots of windows open. So we start this, this one, and now we see that uh, the tool is actually listening to 9 port 996. It's using the Asset Corsa competition. You can also see from the top that uh, which game it's, it's defaulting. You can see it's the same that the relay actually is sending out the data to this port. And now I'm actually starting uh, the, the game itself and everything will go black as, as it should. When the game starts, it's actually, uh, for some reason, it starts in the full screen mode and will go on the window mode in any any moment now 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 you can see that ACC is starting and soon we'll get lots of nice nice music running in the background and what I'm doing now is when the game starts we go just just as a simple way going into a, a single player mode just a solder just a simple practice go starting and uh, you can see already it takes a little bit while it starts. You can see uh, something happened and it actually changed to the Zolder map. You can see the car which we're driving. If I press drive, so right now here. Go, go, go. So now I can just. The 
game starts. So we get data, you can go here to the driving and you can see if I'm changing the gears here. You can change, see them changing here. And then if you're just driving, let's say go back to the map. I'm just, fuck me see that the car is this car and you just start driving. Okay, I'm using the. You can see the car starts moving. Car is moving up there. I'm just letting it go. The car is moving. You can see the telemetry. There's some lines coming here. Uh, everything is about that's the way it just it just works. So basically you get just all the data. There's some different tabs and as some one thing um which is there, you could also change this option to change the tabs. So I'm putting it actually TC up. So always when you go higher with your traction control it will change the tab. So I'm taking a few things off. This is the way I quite often drive. So I have only the map and the race info. So I'm sitting here like this and then we go to the driving. We stop and I make you see I'm going to TC. I'm changing TC. So this way when you're driving you'd have the race map and also see the uh, race info. As you can see, some of the data, I'm actually showing you how much fuel you're using. And this is based, so you can have uh, statistics per each different uh, ECU mode, and then some information on, on, the, on that ECU mode. So is it linear, progressive, and, and, and there's different things. But there's lots of things in, in the tool you can find when you start driving around and enjoying. But this is the very simple way of getting the data from the tool and, and, and get going. So I'm good in the, good in the game. Uh, one thing, uh, things you can do uh, here is, there's lots of things on other tool, but then it, you have to just play around, see what's there. And, and with the relay, when it runs, you can exit by pressing the E, control E. So that's just the, like exit, and that's the way it closes it down, and then we just exit from the game, and, and, and that's the way. But that's a very easy way to get, get going with the, getting the data. Uh, from from the, the ACC into my tool and, and, and start driving, getting faster with the driving. I hope you enjoy this. Thanks. Bye.